Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with an incredibly special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, I just have to start off this video by saying that I cannot believe that what happened last night actually happened and that I get to share it in a video with you guys today. This is honestly one of my most incredible hunts that I've ever had in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I got so incredibly lucky that I just, I couldn't, I still can't believe it happened. I'm still in absolute utter shock. And let me tell you, this whole experience last night had my heart pumping and I was shaking. It was just so incredibly cool. So you guys may know if you've been following the channel that the other day I talked about the fact that I was grinding for an albino and for a melanistic lynx here on Medved Tiger. Well last night I basically had been shooting lynx for a couple of hours on my own map and decided hey you know I haven't got anything good in terms of lynx on my single player grind so far so to stop myself getting burnt out let's head to multiplayer see if there's any sessions that are open at lynx drink time and see what we can find. This was at the second lake in the first multiplayer session I joined and I was looking at this level 5 lynx here for quite a while and I thought this lynx looked so so dark and you'll see here I'm like trying to compare it to the reindeer as they run past and I could see the markings on the reindeer and I still couldn't see any markings on this lynx and I was kind of hoping beyond hope that maybe this could be one of the animals I was looking for. So I decided to take a shot there with the AR223 and as you can see he is losing health so we did get a vital hit. Decided not to pick up his track as I came to pick him up but just looking at it laying on the ground I knew what I had just shot. That is one of the rarest animals in the entire game. That is a melanistic lynx. A melanistic lynx in multiplayer in the first multiplayer session I joined. In, at the second lake I go to check, there is a level 5 male melanistic lynx. I was in shock. I was absolutely shaking. My heart was pounding. And when I took that shot, I was so, like, I didn't want to get my hopes up in case it was just a common lynx and it was, you know, just looking really dark because of the lighting. Because I've done that a couple of times in my single player where I've just seen one and it looked really, really dark and I kind of crossed my fingers and it hasn't been one. But I walked over and there was no mistaking what that is. So we're going to pick him up. A melanistic level 5 lynx. 22.8 scoring. Only a silver. But honestly, the score doesn't matter. Look at that lynx. Isn't he just absolutely gorgeous? What an incredible animal. Now... I have to note something about this multiplayer session. I almost didn't stay in this session because the map had been pretty well hunted. You're going to see um, a couple of other players that actually leave the session here. And that was actually the host and the only other player that was in the session. And I guess they'd been going around hunting the map and basically not found anything. And then they left not long after I picked this guy up. But what I noticed and the reason I stayed on this map and ended up finding this guy was all of the zones were for early morning drink times for reindeer and brown bear. But there wasn't link zones, not in this area at least. And I think I only saw one link zone on the entire map. And yeah, it was so worth staying. A melanistic lynx. I never thought that I'd actually get to see one of these. And then, yeah, I get one in multiplayer. What are the chances of that? At this point, like I said, I was completely, almost overwhelmed. This was just so, so cool. And I know that probably sounds stupid to some people, but I put, you know, literally thousands of hours into this game. I spend so long looking for certain trophies. And rare links have, have been one of those things I just never thought I'd really be able to get. I've had piebolds in the past, but I never thought I'd find a melanistic or an albino. It almost felt unachievable, but because they are just so, so rare. And finding that, it just had me so incredibly excited. I cannot explain to you the level of excitement when I found that. It was insane. But I then decided basically that I was going to keep hunting around in multiplayer servers and see if I could find any other cool links or any other cool trophies in general. And I ended up joining this session, which actually there was someone in this session who had seen that I'd got the melanistic links and posted it on Discord and they actually watched the channel. Um, so big shout out to Fire516. You'll see them uh, in the chat and I was talking to them because, yeah, because of them being so awesome and being a good host uh, after the other host left, 
it meant that we ended up getting the second animal and it was just a really really nice interaction which is really cool but i came to this lake to look for lynx and just out of the corner of my eye there i saw the other this other lynx and i th- i said to my uh, to my fiance who was in call with me i said i've just seen a lynx and that looked really pale i said i'm not saying it's an albino because that would be ridiculous but it just looked really really pale so i've got to go and check the track but that just looked really different. Maybe it's just a grey and, you know, I co- looked at it funny. And the lighting called it weird, whatever, and it looked pale. But something about that one caught my eye. And you can see I'm running over here and picking up the tracks. And I pick up this track and it's an albino male lynx. This was probably like an hour, hour and a half after I'd shot the melanistic. Immediately here I stop and I'm telling people, oh my gosh, I've just found an albino lynx. And I was kind of relaxed at this point about, you know, trying to go and find him because I knew the person that was hosting. And like I said, they they said that they were looking forward to seeing Melanistic in a video and we had a a nice chat. Um, So I was kind of a little bit less stressed about trying to track this thing down. Because when in multiplayer, if you find an animal like this and it runs like this guy did... The stress is unreal because you never know when you're going to get kicked. I had it recently with a with a really nice piebald elk in uh, late in multiplayer where I just got kicked after I found it. And nothing, nothing I did meant that I could get back into that session. I tried, but you just couldn't get back in. So finding an animal like this, which is just so incredibly rare, it, it's always like, okay, panic stations, we need to get this thing and get it down. But because I knew that person and we had that interaction... And like I said, big shout out to them for being such a lovely, uh, lovely host. It meant that I could relax a little bit and really enjoy the fact that I'd actually found this albino. Because with the Mela, that honestly was a panic of that shoot it and pick it up in case I get kicked because I didn't know the people. But this one was a little bit more relaxed. And yeah, so we're tracking him down now. And thankfully, because like I said, I wasn't rushing or anything, we got to have a really cool interaction with the albino as well, which is what I would have hoped to do with the Mela. But like I said, with multiplayer normally, I have a a, sort of a policy of if you don't know who the host is, it's shoot, kill, claim. You've just got to get that thing down as quickly as possible and move on because you never know when you're going to get kicked or if a hacker's going to join and come and steal stuff. There's so many things that could go wrong. But I just caught a glimpse of him there as he was moving through the brush. And yeah, it was just a pure white lynx. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. And you can see him running past here. And this is now coming up to the point where we're actually going to take this guy down. And my gosh, it just ended up in such a cool way. And like I said, I was allowed to... by Basically allowed myself to take a bit more time here at the end um, of tracking this guy down so we got to get a really nice look at him which was really really awesome and you can see there in the chat me uh, talking to fire 516 who actually offered to change the time if i needed the time changing for anything as well which was really really kind and like i said big big thank you to you for being so kind last night that really meant the world it was really lovely but something else that was really cool about this whole incredible interaction with these two links both of them were level five males which is just incredible to get such a perfect pair a melanistic level five male and then an albino level five male it's just they couldn't have been a more perfect duo and to, i honestly what are the odds of finding these two cats in two different multiplayer servers what are the odds like i said i may as well go and buy a lottery ticket it has to be so like so so slim that i would find not not just one of them but both of them and here we go we get this guy going nervous here so this is when we're going to move in and actually try and shoot him but i wanted to make sure that i was at least decently close because the 223 is rather underpowered but i really wanted to take any trophy links i found on this grind either with a bow if it was in my single player or with the 223 if it was in multiplayer so we're going to try and get nice and close to this guy and then we'll take him with the 223 so at this point, I'm moving very, very cautiously because Lynx do tend to spook quite a lot. I did end up making him go alert there and that was intentional. It was just to stop him wandering off in the other direction. But as soon as I started to slow down, I completely lost sight of him here. And honestly, I was kind of thinking he might have spooked off again, but I couldn't be sure. So I'm just being nice and slow, trying to keep my noise meter down and trying to keep, you know, at least decently decently sneaky and trying to move closer 
And as you can see, I'm scanning around here with the night vision binoculars. And I was basically just trying to get some kind of visual on this guy. So I knew where he was and I could, you know, adjust to how I was stalking in here. Now, I still couldn't see him. And I was like, oh, has he run off again? Because I had had a couple of times where he would stop or he would get close to stopping and then go into more brush. And I was just hoping that this would be the time when I'd actually get to shoot him. Now, I could see his tracks there. And so I was trying to work out how he had moved and it turned out that he had sort of come sort of round to my side. I could see via his tracks there where he was moving, which was actually really handy. So I decided to run a little bit here, just basically so that he would go alert if he was still nearby and stop, which is exactly what happened. And you can see him there, this beautiful white lynx. He is just absolutely stunning. And even without the night vision gear, like this is just the normal Argus scope, you can see this guy is just so, so like pure snow white. He's absolutely gorgeous. And I was just trying to get a good angle here that I was confident with the 223. Because something I've noticed from grinding links on Medved is it doesn't take a lot of brush to actually stop your shot. And that's I didn't want that to happen with this guy. I didn't want to take a shot and it hit a twig or something and then not hit him and then he'd he'd be spooked again and we'd have to try and try and get him into an area where we could see again so i was just being really really cautious there waiting for the ideal shot and he goes alert there and he turns and gives me a such a perfect shot and there we go he starts to go down from the shot with the 223 and yeah that brought a pretty intense and awesome track to an end just look at this guy what a cool cool looking animal they are pretty much pure white but they do still have some markings on like the the neck and the face but they have like these reddish pink eyes and they are just mostly snow white like you can really see it just every now and again just like the really faint spots just so beautiful and of course missing the uh, black tip to the tail which was one of the um sort of the identification features that actually cashnip again shout out to this person cashnip is an incredible uh lynx hunter um that i've spoken to a lot in the various discords and they actually said if you are looking for an albino there's a big feature that they'll be missing they won't have the black tip to the tail and when i actually picked this guy up you can see he very much doesn't have that black tip to to his tail and yeah just absolutely incredible i can't believe it i cannot believe it recording this i still can't believe this happened this is you know a few hours now after this this whole event but honestly my probably my craziest couple of hours ever in call of the wild literally the luck i had last night was absolutely off the charts i cannot believe that this happened and I, I that's why i put in that on my social posts for youtube saying that this is going to be one of my most special videos because you do not see melanistic links posted hardly ever you don't see albino links posted hardly ever they're just so incredibly rare like honestly i cannot believe that this happened it's like getting two albino lions or something like that it's they're just so rare I, I honestly words fail me and I hope that my excitement has been conveyed through this video because honestly I, I just can't there's no real words to describe how how this went down like I said one of my best moments ever in Call of the Wild and honestly one that I was so thrilled that I managed to actually capture on footage to be able to share with you guys and I've been so excited to get this recorded and get this posted for you guys to see because it's absolutely insane absolutely insane this just doesn't I, I i don't understand how this happened i really really don't the luck was really with me last night and honestly it was like when i got my first great one um like both times when i found the melanistic and when i found the albino it was like finding great ones for me it was just so incredibly cool because for me it's the rares in call of the wild that i love to find the most the really rare animals like this that's what i really love to find more than diamonds and stuff really rare animals are my favorite thing to go for in game and that's why i really wanted to find an albino and a mela lynx because they're just known as being such rare creatures in this game you know a lot of people struggle to hunt lynx in general and you know getting a diamond lynx is quite tough but getting an albino and or a mela is is also really really hard and yeah 
I can't believe it happened. I can't believe it happened. So I guess that's the end to my Lynx grind, at least mostly. I might keep grinding to try and get a couple of rare females, possibly, um, for multi-mounts maybe in future. But these guys also look pretty good on the pedestal mounts I've got them on. Um, so maybe, maybe not. I'm just so thrilled that I actually did manage to get an albino animella and saying that sounds so insane. I can't, I can't believe it. But that is going to be it for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said, a really, really special one for me and I really was looking forward to posting this. So I really do hope you all enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.